All right, my beautiful loves. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, so let's get popping now. So we're doing Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my beautiful Capricorn, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Signs for Capricorn, please. Tell me about Capricorn, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Capricorn need to know, please? Holy Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what does Capricorn need to know? All right. So let's see what we have here. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the King of Pentacles, more Earth energy. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. And the Moon in the reverse. Under the deck, we have the Lover's card, Gemini energy. Okay, so Capricorn, this could be energy in or around you. So this could be um, something that you're going through, something your person's going through. It could also be something that someone close to you is going through, okay? So Capricorn, I feel like there's a secret that's coming out, okay? I feel like there's a secret that's coming out. Um, I feel here that there may possibly be a third party in the picture with this Queen of Wands energy. Because with the Two of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, someone here needs to make a decision, okay? Uh, someone here needs to make a decision. And with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, I feel like we have a situation where somebody is in a high level of commitment and then also dating somebody else. The lover's card also speaks on um, a strong soul tie, but it also speaks on making a decision. The two of cups um, is also a strong soul tie. And here we have the three of swords. Under the deck, we have the five of wands, which is also a representation of competition, jealousy, strife, drama. Um, so Capricorn, we're gonna go ahead and clarify this, but but I feel like someone here has quite possibly fallen in love with a third party. Now that could be you, that could be your person. Um, let's see what we have here. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Capricorns, please, Spirit. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Capricorns, please. Tell me about the moon in the reverse. The moon in the reverse. Yeah, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel that um, a truth is about to come out here. Um, a truth that possibly someone here has met someone new. With the Ten of Wands under the deck, I feel like having two relationships or two situations is becoming too strenuous for somebody. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. We've got ooh, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. That's not good. Let's see here. Tell me about the three of pentacles for Capricorn. We've got the six of swords. Tell me about the two of wands for Capricorn. The seven of pentacles in the reverse. Tell me about the king of pentacles for Capricorn. We've got the tower and the lover's card again. Aries energy, scorpionic energy, um, and Gemini energy. Tell me about the knight of pentacles and the world. Okay, so what we have, Capricorn, is a situation where, yeah, see, we've got the Hermit Virgo energy, the Two of Cups, and then we've got the Death card, uh, Scorpionic energy with the Five of Pentacles. Capricorn, here's what's happening. Someone here has met someone new, okay? The problem is, is that this new person is trouble. This new person is trouble. Someone here feels like they want to leave their relationship because the grass is greener on the other side, okay? With the seven of pentacles in the reverse and the two of wands, someone here is making a decision um, to not invest in a situation, uh, I feel, or to not look back, okay? So someone here has left a relationship for a third party situation. And I feel that, you know, especially with the King of Pentacles here, it was a high level of commitment, possibly husband, wife, but a very high level of commitment. And out of nowhere, it all comes crashing down because of this snake right here. You see the snake? So What's interesting here, though, is that 
with the Knight of Pentacles, the person that they're dating, it's going to end. I honestly feel like it's karmic because with the Queen of Wands and the um, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, this Queen of Wands energy, I feel, is karmic. This is not a relationship that's meant to last. Um, I feel like this third party energy is going to set the wheel to turn in motion for the tables to turn on somebody. So again, we've got the lover's card here. We've got someone needing to make a decision. And with the two of cups and the three of swords, I feel like someone here chooses the third party. But as soon as they withdraw from this higher level of commitment, they start to realize that they made a mistake that they ended a connection with a true soulmate, okay? Um, that they walked away and, and that they are like alone now, you know what I'm saying? So there's going to be a fight that's going to break out here. There's going to be a lot of drama. There's going to be a lot of strife. There's going to be a lot happening here, okay? Um, I want to know if this person's going to come back around. Spirit, do we see this King of Pentacles coming back around to reconcile? Do we see this King of Pentacles coming back around to reconcile, please? Nine of Cups in the reverse. So this King of Pentacles, it, the grass was not greener on the other side. They have no wish fulfillment. With Temperance here and the world, again, with the Ace of Wands, I feel like this new situation is going to end before it even begins. They're coming back wanting uh, forgiveness. Do we see reconciliation here? The Death card in the reverse, Scorpionic Energy, the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. So... Capricorn, someone that walked away here is now yearning to come back. The death card in the reverse, I feel that they have, uh, they're, they're not wanting this connection to end. So this person cho is going to choose someone else, walk towards this other person, and then realize that they made a massive mistake and want to come back. Tell me about Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to hear today, please? What does Capricorn need to know today, please? What does Capricorn need to know today, please? We've got religious factors and codependency. I feel that this third party was divinely guided to come in. I feel like it's a karmic. I feel like there was lessons learned here, test that, that needed to be given because we've got forgiving learning and deception. So I feel like someone is coming back wanting forgiveness for this deception. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Spirit is telling you to stay optimistic because when this person comes back, they're going to be very passionate about being um about being committed we've got worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life soulmate and finances and career so capricorn what we have here is a situation where this person doesn't appreciate what they currently have so they need to go towards a third party to really appreciate what they had now when they come back they're going to be passionate about being faithful they're going to be passionate because they understand the soul tie that you guys shared they're going to really work on this connection so you know it is the divine is saying it is worth waiting for the divine is telling you trust in my timing let me do my work ultimately you guys have free will so if you don't want to reconcile obviously you don't have to but i feel like this person has left dealt with a karmic learned a lesson grass was not green on the other side and now they want to come back home Okay. And when they do, I feel like they are going to be very passionate about being committed. All right. I love you guys so very much and I will see you guys soon. Bye.